Just checked out of our room, got some food, and we're going to... coffee at Looney Bean's Coffee Shop. A Looney Bean. We're going to try to get a hitch to Independence and then get another hitch to the trailhead to see how it goes. Two hitches later, and we're back at Kearsarge Trailhead. Well... It feels so good to be back on the trail, but every climb, every time we leave a town, the climb out with a full bag is so so tough. We're knocking out like 1,500 of our vertical uh, today, and then we're gonna camp before Kearsarge Pass. Tomorrow morning we'll knock out the rest of Kearsarge and go up and over Glen Pass. So tomorrow will be a big day. And a lot of the news on Glen Pass is talking about the snowpack and it is melting fast out here. Like it's noticeably different and we've only been gone for a couple days. So that bodes well for the passes. It bodes poorly for the river crossings because they're going to be super swollen now. But we'll see. We'll take it as it comes. There's not any giant river crossings in between here and our next resupply. So it should be manageable. But I'm just ready to get to that campsite and eat and enjoy the lake. We're gonna camp right by a lake, so it should be super, super beautiful. Gotta knock out the rest of this climb now. We got to our campsite. There's a couple other people already here. So tomorrow morning we're gonna get up and go over Kearsarge and Glen Pass and camp at another lake. But it's Good morning. Had a crazy wet night last night. I think that's probably the most dew or condensation we've had inside and outside the tent since we started. But we did camp right next to the lake, that's probably why. Super pretty. Had a little bit of frost, which is kind of funny because it was like 100 degrees in the valley whenever we left. It's crazy a couple thousand feet will drop the temperature so much. But today, we're knocking out the other half of the Kearsarge Pass climb. And then we're going to knock out Glen Pass also and camp at Ray Lakes. It'll be a little slushy on Glen, but I'm not really worried about it. We've had a lot of melt the past couple days, so it'll definitely be doable. But our bags are nice and heavy and we overbought again, but it's better than going hungry, so I don't regret it. Day four, we'll be thanking ourselves and we're not out of food, so it's going. It's going nice and slow. Uh, I was always like, like, how am I gonna get off the mountain? He can carry me. Wait, is my pack? Is... Made it back up here, Sarge. Yeah, now I gotta clear all the downhill to the saddle. Probably eat lunch right there, at least hang out for a little bit before we hit this uh, ascent to Glen Pass. I'm not even hungry. I'm not even hungry, but I am going to eat everything I possibly can. My bag is so heavy and I'm not very happy. Is this about the it. Way? After much ado, we are back on the red line and only four miles from our campsite. That's it. That's it. That's all we have.
Look at this little alpine pond up here busted up. Beautiful blues. All kinds of shades of blue. That's so pretty. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we're not going to finish. I can't reach it. That's about as fresh as it gets, though. We really got a couple hundred feet to the top of the ridge. Fresh snow melt. Mmm. A little bit of sand. How is it? Good. Feels like home. <laughs> North Georgia mountains. We made it up Glen Pass. There's our snowy traverse. There's about a mile, I think, of uh, snowy off and on. And then we're camping at the lake down there. So it's within sight. Definitely going to be using ice axe and micro spikes for this because that is a... Yeah, that's a long way down. Pretty steep slide down, yeah. but not that we can't handle. We've oh, done yeah. worse, I feel like. Oh yeah, we've done this before. Just about made it off the snow. Some gnarly clouds coming in though. Hopefully, we're not in the way. It's crazy to look back and see all the snow that we just traversed over. Feels good to be on a hard ground. <laughs> You can see now our friends, they decided to join us. We have Ben Chicken, it looks like, Chip, Claire, Lockie, I think. So hopefully they'll make it down safely, just as we did, and we can talk about our days back at camp. This is so beautiful. It almost feels like we're in a movie right now. Wow. So we'll follow the trail around the lake for just a little bit. We did just have to go about thigh deep across the lake uh, to get to the other side. We're a little chilly, so we're gonna quickly find somewhere to camp. Hopefully it's right on the lake because this is incredible. It's perfect that there's a food storage box provided. That's always a plus. That way we don't have to keep our bear boxes 100 feet away or whatever. Home sweet home for the night. Can't wait to set up tent. So we didn't really get a good ending video uh, of this day. So we got to the campsite with the bear box, got a really nice flat spot, oh, so super beautiful. secluded, beautiful view of the lake. We split up from our group, so now our group is in half. We have another couple with us, and the other half is over, up and over the pass. Yeah. So they're going to do that tomorrow, and hopefully we'll meet back up with them, but we'll find out. 
But we're going to enjoy this beautiful spot, sleep in tomorrow, and catch you all then.